What's up guys? That day I made a video about how I don't read fiction books because I think they're bullshit. Well, most of them. I do like the classics, Shakespeare, you know, Lolita, Brave New World, 1984, etc. You get the point. The reason I don't read fiction is because I don't see a use for it. I get a lot of my amusement from biographies, alright? Nelson Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Just look at just look at this book. Just admire this book for a second. Look at these pictures. It's boxing. Anyway, that's besides the point. Biographies are something that we should all read, or a lot of people should read, because they're hidden jewels. In biographies, not only do you get whoever's writing the biographies perspective of events that's happened in history you get their opinions you get their life lessons and often times more often than not some of these stories that they might tell you will be amusing just imagine it here you have someone like Nelson Mandela a historical figure someone who's changed lives writing a book telling you exactly what they did how they did it what they experienced they're giving it to you for less than twenty dollars why would you not read that shit? Imagine if you read 10 biographies, you have 10 different viewpoints of people in history, of how the world works, of different values, and you can go through them in a matter of weeks. How much more knowledgeable will you be? How much more better equipped will you be for life if you had that information? As opposed to people that just read about vampires sucking each other's necks off and all this bullshit that's n no no you guys need to read some autobiographies i'm telling you especially autobiographies not biographies so that it's unfiltered truth from the horse's mouth it is one of the best material you can read keep away from the fiction bullshit and stay strong do it just